So why would you need to use multiple monitors or ultra wides in VR when you can just play a game in VR, right? Well, not every game can be played in VR and sometimes you want to use monitors to do different things, not just gaming at the same time. So you can do whatever you like in VR and that is why we have multi monitors and other monitor options in VR. So what will you need? Very easy. You're going to need virtual desktop and you're going to need a supported headset and a PC or a Mac that supports it. Only certain headsets and hardware can do multiple monitors. Here's a list by Virtual Desktop. It might change in the future. As of right now, this is what is supported. If you want to add a monitor, just click below the screen and here it says add monitor, press add. Another monitor will pop up. And if you want to add another one, just click below the screen, press add. Voila, more monitors. You can adjust the monitor settings too. So if you click above it, you can adjust like the curve, make it curve if you like. Or like make it closer or further. Like that. You can just grab it with your thumb, um, your middle finger. You can grab it and then pull the thumbstick up and down to move it further or back. Or you can grab it with two hands to make it bigger or smaller. So as of right now, there's no manual snapping of your monitors yet. Um, maybe in the future. But what you can do is you bring up the VD menu, go to settings, and turn on arrange monitors or recenter. Okay. So if you hold down the Oculus recenter menu button or the recenter button on your VR headset, now it will snap together all three like this. Pretty neat. So anywhere you face, just hold down the recenter button and you have three monitors snapped together. The thing I notice is, if you make this um, flat screen, so you see if I snap it together now, it becomes like, there's like gaps in between them. So I prefer to snap it uh, with a curved screen. Snapped. Just move it a little bit closer to more. No more bezels. So if you press on the VD settings, Settings here, you can adjust the desktop like frame rate. You can go up to 120 if you want, or increase the bit rate too. So it divides, so 120 divided by 3, that's 40 Mbps per each one. But the frame rate is the same, so it's 90, 90, 90. You can also change the portrait or landscape of this. So let's say I want to switch it, you can go upside down like that. And now I have a portrait monitor. Same thing, change it back. So this is the benefit of having multi-monitor. You can do different things and play a game, let's say, on if you want. So I can watch a video here. Play a game. In mixed reality. Or, if you want, go into an environment. A sky like this. VR. You don't have to be in mixed reality. Or you can be in that auditorium. Playing a game or watching a game and reading whatever you want. So this is the benefit of having multiple monitors. So if you want to use triple monitors to play games, you're going to need an app called SRWE. Quick note, Nvidia Surround and iFinity does not work for this because it combines three monitors into one and that's not our goal here. Our goal is to have three separate monitors. For ultra wide play, it's later in the tutorial. You can skip ahead if you want to do that. Get it here, I'll post the link in the description, get the latest version, you can just get a regular one. So for me, I'm just going to put in a folder called SRWE, drag it in, right click on your desktop, display settings. So you can see I've already added three monitors here, which is what you're going to need. So we have three monitors here, which I've added in virtual desktop. So the max resolution you can go for triple monitors right now is 2560 by 1440. First launch the game you want to play. So you're going to want to look for games that actually support triple monitor. I'll put a link. This one's not really updated but it has a lot that do support it. And not everything is going to work, just so you know. Once the game is running, in SRWE, press select the game. So mine will be Dirt Rally 2. Okay, so the goal is to stretch the game across three monitors correctly. 
So our width is 2560, yeah? Get a calculator. So we're gonna get 2560 multiplied by 3. So that's 7680. So key in the correct width, which is 7680, and then press set. Sometimes you have to key it in more than once. And then click on align. So you want to get it to align within where all your monitors are, just like probably top. And if you want to play it full screen, press remove borders and the borders are gone. And once you're done with this um, profile, look in VR if it looks good, click on here and then press save profile. You can save it anywhere. I'm going to call mine DR2, DR3 maybe. I'll call mine Dirt2. And then next time, you can just press load profile here and then click on profile you have selected and you'll be good to go. So if you go to the graphic settings, you can see that it will not really show. Some games will show you like resolution, but this one you can just see the aspect ratio here, 21 by 9. Okay. Make sure HDR is off. Here we have triple monitor set up. Let's go. So let's say I want to move this right here. I can do that. Like this. I want to sit down. I'll make it as big as I want. Make it big. Make it big. Okay. Now I have a giant screen in my living room. You want to snap your monitors all together, let's face the direction and hold down the Oculus reset button. Boom! Monitor has to snap. Okay, if you want to play ultra wide, tap the bottom of the screen, press add monitor. Now you have your second monitor. So right click on the desktop, display settings. Click on the new monitor you just added, number two. Change it to widescreen, which is 5120 by 1440. Keep changes. You can also adjust the um, hertz. If you want to make it 90 or 120, you can adjust it here. So now you can see we have one ultra wide and one regular. So now you have two monitors. One is a regular and one is an ultra wide. So we're going to tuck this away. We're just going to focus on the ultra wide here. So sometimes you need to restart a game for it to take effect. Ultra wide. Very nice. So there are multiple ways to do this, but this is for me the most convenient way to do it. So we're going to add a virtual display. So this way you don't have to change your display, your current display. Some people like to use CRU, Custom Resolution Utility, to change their monitor resolution. But for me, this one's a bit more time consuming. I prefer to use virtual display, which is a lot faster. Uh, again, there are options. So this is the option I'm going to show you. So go to virtual display driver. It's a fork of IDD sample driver and download the latest version. So I'm going to make a folder named VDD or whatever you want to call it and I'm going to extract it in here. So that instructions on the website, you can follow it. So copy option.txt, copy this and then make, go to C. So make a folder called IDD sample driver and paste option.txt in here. All right. So open options.txt 
So here you will find the list of resolutions that will be supported in the, the virtual display driver. Let's say you want a resolution that has 60 frames, 90 frames, 120 frames. Just copy it, paste, and then you can change it. Let's say you want to add 80 hertz. So by default, it only comes with 60, but I adjusted mine to have 60, 90, and 120 with the ultrawide resolution, which is 5120 by 1440. I'm going to paste, I'm going to upload this to YouTube in the description. So you can download this if you want to use this. Next, go back to the folder. Right click on the bat file, which is install cert.bat. Run as administrator. Go to device manager. Okay, click on display adapters. Press action. Add legacy hardware. Again, you only have to do this once or twice, however much monitors you want, and you will be set. Press next. Manual. And then go to display adapters. Next. And say I have disk. And then press browse. And to the folder, VDD. IDD sample driver. And then double click on this. Press OK. Press next. And done. Now you have a new display. So you see on the display adapters here, you have IDD sample device HDR. Now this is the monitor you, you just added. So you can add up to like as many monitors as you want. I made like three here. Go to your desktop, right click, display settings. So you see here, I now have multiple monitors that I added. These are all virtual displays. So let's say the one I want to add, we're gonna make it into an ultra wide, click on it. And then display resolution. You can go all the way up to 7,000. I like to keep it around 2,400. Or if you want a super ultra wide, 2,160, like that. Keep changes. So now you see you have one ultra wide monitor, virtual monitor, good to go, ready to go in VR. You can switch to this monitor in VR and you'll be set. So you can see that right now I'm on monitor one. I want to change to the next monitor. If you want to change to the other monitor, press the Y button on your Quest controller. Then we see we have the ultra wide here. You can switch back between monitors like this. You go to settings. There you go. You choose which monitor you are. So mine, my ultra wide will be the second monitor. And you can see the resolution already adapted to the ultra wide resolution. So just press apply. Okay. And now change the other monitor. To change monitors, press Y on the Quest uh, controller. There we go. Now we got ultra wide. Better be, better be. Now to note, there is a bit of latency. It's not perfect, but if you have a good network connection, it will work fun enough. Now you're gonna ask, why don't we just make multiple ultra wides? Yeah, you can do multiple ultra wides. You can do anything you want within the limits of your imagination. And up to three monitors for now. So let's say I put these two as ultrawide monitors. Boom, double ultrawide monitors. The world is your oyster, do whatever you like. You can also change the monitors by pressing the Y button to swap between the monitors. So now, if you look, I have double ultrawide monitors. Twice the pride, double the fall. So the reason I like to use this method is because you can keep this display driver here and if you don't want to use it, all you have to do is just go into device manager, right click, disable device and your virtual monitor is gone. Now you just have your regular monitors again.